What are you doing in your C store to beat the competition that's across the road or even next door? Hey, John McMillan with C Store Secrets here, and I just got on the interstate up in Kentucky, and I wanted to share a quick thought that I had with you. Right before I got on the interstate and as I drove up the road to make it onto the on-ramp, I noticed that on one side of the interstate, there were three locations. An independent, a small chain, and a very, very large truck stop style, big convenience store that most of you would probably know exactly what I'm talking about if I said the name. So I'm, I'm not trying to call anybody out here, but I want to make a point. At that one side of the exit, there's more stores across the, the exit, but at that one side of the exit, there's three C stores, literally within 100 yards of each other. And so my, my, my question to you is, is if you were in that situation, how would you draw some of those customers to you? How would you take and increase your foot traffic so that you got your fair share of business at that exit. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about what product are you offering that differentiates you from your competitors? Have you been into your competitors' stores and looked at what they were offering, talked to your customers and talked to the people that are coming in the market to see what they would like to see in your store that would differentiate you? Um, one thing that I will say just an idea and it's something that I sell and that's not why I'm giving you the idea but I'm giving you the idea because it's not in a lot of locations and it's fairly new to the market is we have a program called Blue Taco. Uh, it is a you know a taco burrito um, burrito bowl like a naked burrito slash quesadilla I mean I don't want to name any big franchises but there are some big franchises out there that are that are similar in their offerings, but that's something that's not at this exit, and it would differentiate you as, as a C-Store from your competitors. So how are you competing? What are you doing every single day in your convenience store that sets you apart, that makes a customer's mind say, I think I wanna go check that place out, rather than these other two places? Not, not taking into consideration brand name and all that stuff. Uh, brand name is important. And I think as a business, you should focus on your brand name. Uh, my business name is C Store Secrets LLC. I do have a limited liability company license. I am a business. Um, and the C Store Secrets is my brand name. It's what I talk about. So, you know, my goal within the C Store industry is to, when people think about the C-Store, I want them to think about C-Store Secrets. As a business owner, I want, when, when you are talking about making your C-Store better, I would like for my brand name C-Store Secrets to come up. Hey, you want to know how to run a store? You need to check out C-Store Secrets. That's what I want. So that's my brand name. So as a gas station, as a C-Store, what is your brand name? What is it you're focused on? You see, one thing that I, I believe in wholeheartedly is... Uh, what our company would call a private label. You have access to all the products, but you get to name it yourself. You get to make it yours so that people come to your food. And I'm, I'm all about franchises and brand names. I, they're great, don't get me wrong. But I feel like that as a C-Store with all these big names out there, especially for you independents and small chains, you've got to do something to differentiate yourself. And a lot of the smaller chains are starting to figure this out and they're starting to grow their food service business because they are focused on their brand and their offerings and not necessarily using franchises and stuff like that. Um, but my point is, is you have to focus on getting your advertisement out there, getting your social media out there, getting your marketing out there, letting people know who it is you are and what you do and how you what you're doing to compete, what you're doing to offer a better customer service experience for your potential customers. That way they'll come visit you. That way they'll come see you before they'll go see anybody else. As an independent off of an interstate, you can be known among truckers and among travelers of being the best store off that exit. 
what are you doing to achieve that goal? What are you doing to work toward that goal? That's the question and that's the challenge for you right now. There's a lot of C stores out there. I just saw an article this morning, I think it was in Convenience Store News or CSP, that finally new convenience stores are starting to be built again. They had seen a lull in that where it wasn't happening, but now C stores are on the rise again. I'm seeing that C store foot traffic is up. I definitely know from the company that I work with that grocery store and C store food service sales are up. Um, the company that I work for is um, getting ready to release an app with the technology for you to place to go orders through the app if you're one of our business partners. Um, and that's definitely right now for sure. You got to be a champs level business partner. So our industry is changing. It's, it's, it's getting a little different. And my question to you is, what are you doing in your business to compete and to stand out among the crowd, among all the noise? What are you doing so that your noise is heard? Something to think about. Hopefully you got something from this message. If you need any help whatsoever on some ideas to compete in your marketplace and how you can differentiate yourself, please reach out. But make sure you come with an open mind. Um, if you don't come with an open mind and you're just going to say no to everything that we talk about, I can't help you. You've got to come with an open mind and that's who I can help. So hopefully this message helped you and I'll see you on the next video.